Boy, this kind of feels like a confessional video. Should I keep my glasses on or off? Hmm. I don't know. All right. So, I've actually never done a one-on-one -on -one video with no one really in the room. And I, I've always wanted to, but anyways. So, my main problem in life has always been my weight. Always been my problem. Since I was a child in school, I was bullied. Life was hell. My whole life. Um, I've lost weight a few times. Twice in my life I lost 100 pounds. The first was when I was 16 because I was diagnosed with severe spinal scoliosis and I was so morbidly obese at the age of 16 I weighed, I guess it was 310 pounds and the surgeon refused to do the surgery so I had to lose the weight. I joined Weight Watchers. I don't remember how long it took. This is so long ago. But I lost 100 pounds, <clears throat> I had the surgery, and then, well, I gained the weight back. I gained, I've lost here and there, never kept track, but then, oh my god, it was like seven years ago, I almost died, almost had a heart attack. Oh, if you ever have, what started out with palpitations of the heart, if you ever have heart palpitations, run to the hospital. I didn't. I should have. And it got to the point where it felt like my um, heart was going to explode. The pain was unbelievable. Went to the hospital. They didn't know what caused it really, but I mean, I, at that point I weighed 345 pounds. So it was kind of obvious what it was. I had just had a high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Didn't have high sugar. So that was good. So it took, um, I don't know how many years, but I lost over another hundred pounds. I bring it, I was about, so I lost almost 150. I was 345. I bring it down to 200, which has always been my yo-yo range, 200 to 10. Can't seem to stay at that damn 200 or go under 200. So I've been managing. Been, it's been years for that and how I lost it was just counting calories, 100% counting calories. Didn't have my stomach tucked, nothing like that. It's all natural 100% natural. I don't take any pills. I don't drink any of those juices. None of that. Just counting calories. Because I like the freedom of being in complete control of what I eat. I read the calorie count. I give myself... I ch All right, don't do what I do. You got to go to a doctor. Don't listen to me. Do You have to go to a doctor. You have to see what he says for you, what's right for you. Now, at this point, I used to eat 1200 calories. That was how I lost the first 150 with, after, after the almost heart attack. Now, because that dropped my metabolism low, I'm assuming I haven't had any tests done. Now I eat around, to lose weight I got to eat around 800 calories. So I don't eat much at all. But they're my 800 calories and I'm going to choose how I eat them and what I want to eat them with. So everything I eat is calorie counted. So this video is because I have fallen off the wagon again. And I'm not mad about it, not upset about it. It happens. Life happens. Things happen. This latest falling off the wagon, it was, um, didn't expect my husband to get hurt at work. And thought he just hurt his knee, thought he'd be back in a few weeks. Turned into four months of him home together. We have a tiny two-room apartment, and yeah, it just got to me. It just, just got to me, so I never realized how much of a comfort food eater I was until the past four months. Wow. I, I, was, I was looking at what I ate in my head, because I didn't write it down. I always write down. When you're on a diet, write it down. Write down the date and the time that you ate. I wasn't writing it down, but in my head I said, because I've been feeling like crap, I'm feeling really tired, and I thought back, and I said, what did I eat the past three days? Pa not now, but the before, it was last week, three days, I ate nothing but carbs. Not one piece of meat, nothing healthy, God forbid there'd be a lettuce leaf in there. That wasn't happening. Three days of starch. That's what I ate. And I said, oh my god, this has got to stop. I mean, I'm going to become a diabetic. My mom is a diabetic. She's on insulin. My grandmother was a diabetic. Yeah, I'm going to become diabetic because all I fed myself was sugar for three days. So, so my husband's back at work 
thank God. But, you know, this has taught me a lesson. I can't let something affect me this much. I've, I've got to get better control of myself. I've got to, you know, these are all tests that God gives you. And boy, did I fail. I failed. I feel like crap about it, too. But okay, it's okay because I'm still here. I still have a purpose on this earth and I'm gotten back up. Today is my second <clears throat> and a half day back on my diet. I'm making this video. I don't know if I'm ever going to air it. Doing it for myself because I've always wanted to do this because I know what it's like to be fat. I was fat since I was seven and I mean morbidly obese fat. I weighed 345 pounds. I couldn't shop in a regular store. Oh man, it was terrible. I couldn't even go to the movies. Forget going on a plane. Couldn't sit on anything. It's terrible. Your life is crap when you're fat. You, There's no advantage to being fat. None. None. None whatsoever. None. It's not even for how you look. It's your quality of life. It's terrible. People treat us like crap. People treat fat people like we're invisible. We don't count, and it hurts. It hurts so much. And it makes us usually eat more. It doesn't help the cycle. we got to stop the cycle. So, I've woke up yet again. It's okay. I've fallen, I've gained, I've lost the weight back and forth. But thank God I'm back. It took me four months. I don't think I was off it a full four months, no. The first two weeks I hung in, and little by little I gave in because this is like when he's home there's nothing to do and then if you want to go out what are you gonna do you eat I gave in I gave in to all the old things that I thought I put behind me but it's okay it's okay everything's a learning experience and I have to say he's gone back to work thank God today's Wednesday he went back on Monday and as soon as he left I felt I could everything was back to normal again but I really have to do better on dealing with things because things are going to always happen. And you have to be ready for it mentally. You have to say, this is going to, it could happen again. God forbid it could happen again. It might never. But even so, I can't let a change like that affect me so much. How much? I haven't been on the scale. I haven't been on the scale in four months. And um, I'll be quite honest with you, I'm down to one pair of jeans. That's it. I'm into one pair of jeans and I've been hand washing it because if I put it in the washer it's going to shrink and I am not going to have anything to wear. I do have one pair of yoga pants and that fits but uh, I just like the jeans so it's down to one pair. I can't believe it did that again. Oh man, everything's so tight again. <clears throat> the underwear are tight. I hate that. I used to wear a size 14 underwear. I'm down to 9, sometimes a 10, depends on the bloat. But, oh man, I've gotten, I've got, I know I've gained the weight. So before <clears throat> Tommy's accident, I weighed 228. I keep getting stuck at the plateau of 228. It's been a challenge, and that's why I tend to give up, because I say, F it all, I'm stuck at this weight, but the minute I go off, I pop up. The belly pops. Oh my god, my stomach has gotten so thick. It's terrible. Alright, I'm just making this video because we just keep getting up, people. Do not give in. We can lose the weight again. It's just food. We have to eat to live, not live to eat. Um, I'm eating my salads again. I'm eat, living on egg whites. That's all I ever need is egg whites. And of course, egg prices have skyrocketed like crazy. But that's okay. So that's what I'm eating right now is salads, egg whites. I have my one indulgence of a bag of popcorn, which is 200 calories. I have two Weight Watchers treat. No, one Weight Watchers treat and one Jello sugar-free yogurt. No, pudding. And, oh, and um, lean cuisine. I love my frozen meals. That's another 200 calories. So I'm eating around six to 800 calories. I'm trying to kick this week into a good start week because... God, I need another pair of jeans, and I don't want to have to buy one. I don't, so. I'm going to get on the scale for the first time since I fell off the wagon. So. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Let me get my glasses on because I can't see anything. I don't know, I might have to unscrew the camera. Usually when I get on the scale, I'm butt naked. But I know these clothes don't weigh that much. So. All right. 
I'm gonna unscrew you because I do everything live. I'm very honest. All right. My camera's getting hot too because I don't usually talk this long. Okay. I have a Weight Watchers scale. You have to hit it to go on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, there it is. There's the truth. 257.5. All right. So, uh, it's not that bad. I thought it was going to be a little bit higher. So, it's almost 260. So, I was about, say, 30. So, I gained about 32 pounds in four months. So, okay. So, hopefully next week I'll have a different video with a better update. But don't ever give in. Don't ever give up. Just because we've fallen, I don't care if it's been a year, I don't care if it's been three years. Today, you start a new day and you get up and don't eat the crap. All right, good luck to you. Never give up. Bye.